All right, here with Ramon Batman McKenzie. You're back in Jamaica. Welcome back, sir. Thank you very much, man. All right, you, you were with Tyson Gay's camp, coached by Lance Brahman in Florida since leaving Calabar High. And you have decided to come back to Jamaica. Tell us the reasons why. Um, I wanted to be closer to family and friends and also business ventures. So those were the main reasons that forced me to come back home. I realize that you have become an entrepreneur now. Yes, Ice cream and now I see you have a water line. Tell us about the water line. Um, it's called the cave purified water as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it came from a thought, you know, drinking water every day and stuff. I said, why not my own? brand of water so I got with a few people and uh, they thought it was a good idea and I went with it and uh, that's the finished product in front of you right there all right racers has their own water and I think there are a couple other waters in Jamaica um did you guys do research to see if it is it it is a a, a profitable business or uh, what, what was the, the, the objective behind it, the, the whole, where did the idea came from? Um, the, the cave water is uh, basically more of a charity water, more than a business to get a lot of profit from. Because what we're trying to do is go into schools and give back a percentage of the profit to the schools for the waters that they sell there or elsewhere and also every one percent of each bottle goes back to charity so it's more of me giving back to the world than anything else so it's more of a philanthropic effort yeah something like that all right tell us about the ice cream um the ice cream is called hocus pocus and uh, it's a liquid nitrogen ice cream right now it's a pop-up shop coming out in january actually and people could get it at events and stuff like that we make the ice cream right in front of your eyes to your specific taste. If you want vanilla, chocolate, whatever you want in it, we could make it for you right there on the spot. All right, so how is this different from Devano's ice cream? Because you know Devano's is, has been very popular in Jamaica for years. Do you plan to compete with uh, a Devano's or? I don't see um, a competition in that field because Devano sells ice cream that's already made. The ice cream that we sell is probably the purest ice cream you could get because it's only three minutes old when you start to eat it. And when ice cream is put down over time, it causes, uh, um, what's, what's the name again? It starts to crystallize, which causes bacteria in the ice cream. People don't know that. So when we make the ice cream right in front of your eyes, it's actually better for you than buying ice cream that's been there. And Devonos has a lot of flavors, but sometimes if they run out, you have to buy what they have. We will make whatever you want, and that's the difference. All right, okay, so Ocos Pocos, he said? Yes, Ocos Pocos. Where you got that name from? Actually, it's from the Halloween movie, you know, um, with the three witches. And then the way all the ice cream is made, it's kind of like magic. And that's that's the theme for the movie. It's like um, for the ice cream, it's like magic. So that's where the name came from. And when does this launch? Is it launched already? No, it's not. Um, it's coming out um, January twenty fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically, the water and the ice cream. Do we have any more business ventures on the horizon for Batman? The water and the ice cream are the main two, but also in January again, 2014, I'm coming out with my own sports drink called the Rehydrate. So that's the next step. After that, I would like to open up a restaurant probably two years from now. But for now, those are the top three stuff that I'm doing right now. But Batman, you're a full-fledged businessman, man. A lot of people would question, you know, you're only 23 years old. 
you know, you still have a long way ahead as it relates to a track and field career. A lot of people, you know, would say, when are you going to find time for your track and field, which is a very grueling, very demanding sport, you know? Um, I believe that whatever you want, you have to work for it. You have to go out there and create it. And time waits on nobody, so you have to make time for everything and know how to manage your time. But I also have a good team that surrounds me. So what tell us, tell us who, who is on the team. Anybody of particular name? Um, just close family and uh, friends and also my partner. So that, that's the team right there. All right, Ramon, all the best in your endeavors on and off the track. Thank you. Thank you. Very much, man. Thank you. <laughs>